It is this time of year when Joy and Cheer should make their way into every household, irrespective of what the individual circumstances are. One will recall that following the July 26 general elections, the relevant ministerial portfolios were signed on August 5th, just over four months ago. Given the fact that the poorer people of this country have been marginalized for the last five years, the expectations from our government are huge. One understands because with the stoppage of the NICE program, the STEP program, the HOPE program, and every other that targeted the poor and marginalized, coupled with the effects of the pandemic, it has not been easy for our people. Whilst we navigate these extremely turbulent waters of governance, one that we found in a state of financial demolition, we continue to make do with the little that we have. And in keeping with the rubric on which this government was elected, we are definitely putting the people first. In that regard, the average St. Lucian citizen who either lives in or operates from the CDC units have been given some sort of relief. Those who operate in the craft and provision markets, the arcade, and the small vending booths around town have not been left out. In its quest to put the people first, the government has waived a total of approximately $7.2 million for the benefit of its people across the political divide. Our people cannot be secondary to any other. And whilst we encourage foreign investment, our people must participate in a very meaningful way. St. Lucians must benefit from the resources that inherently belong to St. Lucia. I am certain that throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia, one can witness the changes. The changes in Castri Central are more than conspicuous. Serenity Park has been brought back to life. Garbage collection and clearing measures have been strengthened. Even the clearing of bush and demolition of old structures have been witnessed. We are government with a difference. Trust me, folks. As time unfolds, things in this country can only get better. I want to thank the Honorable Prime Minister for having me as part of his team. I want to thank my cabinet colleagues and all my other team players, like my permanent secretary, the mayor, my attache, councillors at the CCC, as well as all the workers at the National Housing Cooperation. Thanks to all of you. In appreciation of your efforts, we decided for the first time in history to give and pay for each and every Castries constituency council worker medical insurance. In further appreciation, we have also decided to give every CCC worker and every worker at the National Housing Cooperation a small financial Christmas bonus. Thank you all for your efforts. Let me take this opportunity to wish all of you, my colleagues, my team members, all residents of this beautiful country of ours, Castri Central people, St. Lucians in the diaspora, or, or wherever else they may find themselves, a very Merry Christmas and God's richest blessings for 2022.